Now, ladies and gentlemen, on the names the same, we have a policy of introducing guest celebrities. Tonight is no exception. A gentleman I am most anxious to meet, a gentleman whose work I have respected for many years, although I must confess that at times I do not quite understand it, I do understand his technique, which is, I think, quite, quite unique, unique technique. The distinguished international artist, Mr. Salvador Dali. Mr. Dolly, I don't, uh, uh, what do you, you came back to this country only a short while ago, is that not so? Uh, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, and, uh, do you have any plans for exhibitions? Are you, are you, uh, are your books going to be shown, uh... Not this time, uh, no exhibition at all. No, no? Only finish a little painting. Uh-huh. Uh, the title is very important. The title? Uh, one soft watch exploding in 888 pieces. One soft watch exploding in 888 pieces. Now, you see, his technique is sensational, but I'll be darned if I'm going to understand the painting. Well, I mean, the technique is very careful. Yeah, the technique is, is very careful and but very, very objective. So is the mustache. I'm, I love that. That's beautiful. Yes, that is quite beautiful. Panel, Mr. Dolly has a secret wish. Before the program, we asked him for a secret wish, and Salvador Dolly told us that his wish was something he would like to do. Uh, it's up to you to solve this secret wish. Let's let our home audience see what it is Salvador Dali would like to do. <laughs> All right, let's start this round with Bill Stern. Bill, would you move in, Mr. Dali, so that we can pick you up on this microphone? No, just move in a little bit further in this way. Thank you, sir. Sir, is this thing that you would like to do, would you like to do this with someone else? Uh, no, again, the question, no, no, no. This thing that you would like to do, is there another person connected with it? No. no. This is something you want to do yourself? Exactly. He would do it himself, yes. Is this uh, within the realm of possibility? Exactly. Would this be an artistic achievement if you did it? Yes. Would this be a painting of one kind? Yes. Is it something that you want to paint? Yes. Is it a specific person? No, it's one object. It's an object you want to do. Uh, well, uh, how about the watch, Bob? The soft watch in 888 pieces. Well, there are many different types of objects. Exactly, it's one of the Yes, objects. this is an object. I... This is an object that you want to paint, Mr. Dally. Is it an it? object? The ob I mean, certain, you know, uh, I, the word object is, is uh, tough to define. But I think you are absolutely right. Go ahead, Mr. Dally. When we arrive at what this object is, will we have guessed the answer? Uh, almost. Is this an object that we use daily? Yes. Is, no, no. Well, let's not mislead him too much. Uh, Bill does not use this object ever. Oh, uh, no, uh, you. Yes, no, 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 no. Uh, many people use, uh, very useful. to me. Perhaps you never. We have a little difficulty. I wish my French were better. I'm sorry, uh, I don't understand it. The uh, little confusion is much better. We, oui, we, oui, I agree with you. No, you uh, the questions, Mr. Dolly, and let us give you the answers. <laughs> <laughs> let, us, let us put it this way. There is... An object involved. Uh, this object could be human. Now, I'll let you go from there. This object could be human? Yes. <laughs> could be human. Uh, is this object a pet of one kind or another? Uh, many people might consider this object a pet of some kind or other. Oh, very, very few people, only crazy people. question, Bill. I'll pass, Bob. <laughs> All right, you're doing fine, kid. Uh, Gene Rayburn. I don't care if you charge me for this question. Are you kidding with the thing? Uh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> This is the most serious part of my personality. Do we have the time for Mr. Dye to explain why he wears his mustache? I'm very curious to know uh, about it. Uh, it's a very... A uh, simple uh, Hungarian moustache. Yes. Uh, Mr. Marcel Proust mm. is the same kind of pomade for this moustache. How, same do, you pomade. Keep it, how do you keep it up there? How does it stay up there? <laughs> well, this is only the, uh, this kind of pomade, but very well. Special oh, pomade, see. which is also used by Marcel Proust. Marcel Proust. Uh -huh. <laughs> Must have taken years to grow. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, they may sponsor us next week. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, Joe, we get back. <laughs> I think we're better. Gene, would you please proceed? You have nine. We have only about two and a half minutes left. Oh, all right. Now, Mr. Dolly, uh, this object um, you want to paint, does it have anything to do with anybody on this program? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Is it, is it a part of Mr. Lewis that you want to paint? No. Is no. it all of him? No, it's in connection about uh, one cinematographic project of myself. It's the protagonist of one next movie of myself. <laughs> and, uh, Gene, I sincerely hope that clears that up. All right. Well, now, with the protagonist uh, who is against the antagonist, uh, I just watch us. That... <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to call time. Oh, oh no, no, wait, wait a minute. Just got some ideas. All right. I've heard of Don't Mr. Alexander. Ten questions. Yes. Does it involve all of us? Involve uh, theatrical ideas. Ideas. Theatrical ideas. I beg your pardon? Involve theatrical ideas. <laughs> theatrical ideas. Yes. No, no, Take like what do you think? Technical ideas? Technical ideas. Now, I'm just going to have oh. to call time because I'm... Oh, I wish you wouldn't. I think it's fascinating. Does it have anything to do with television? <laughs> no. no what for, Mr. The, for, what the Mr. Not. for the moment, not. What Mr. Dolly would like to do is draw his version of me. That is his secret wish. Why, I will never know, but then... This program My dear, you're very lucky. I know I am, and I wish, Mr. Dolly, we have a, an easel, and I would treasure this for life if you would be good enough to... Only up front. Only up front. This is to be an accident. <laughs> we may not finish this on the air, but uh, I hope we have some time to... Uh... We'll show it next week, huh? <laughs> you certainly will. That's what I'm behind. You look like a wet watch. Look like a melting Robert Q. Well, that's wonderful. That is very nice. Thank you, Salvador Dolly. Mr. Dolly, would you go meet our panel and pick up three checks? One for me for them for $25. Thank you from Swanson for playing the dance and dance. How are we on time? Uh, may I say this? We had a lot of fun with Mr. Dolly tonight, but I think the panel will agree with me. This is one of the greatest living technicians in the, uh, in the art world today. And we respect him and are proud to have had him with us. The panel and I will be back in a moment to tell you how they did in about next week's show. But, uh, all right, now let's have a little accounting, please. Bill Stern, will you make your report? Robert, uh, after seeing that picture of you, I think it's worth it. I lost $75. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Johnny Alexander, how about you? Uh, I lost $75, and I expect you all to have those lovely mustaches next week. <laughs> good night, Gene, everybody. Gene Rayburn, how about you? I lost $50, and I guess I was the smartest one tonight, wasn't I? <laughs> For a change. Well, good night, everybody. Oh, well, you were all pretty smart tonight. Very good, very good. for C.A. Swanson and Sons, packers of America's best-known brand of canned and frozen poultry. Awful good. You ought to try some real soon. Pal and I will see you again next week on The Name's the Same, brought to you by Clorette's Chewing Gum and Candy Mints. Name's the Same has been a Mark Justin Bill Cotton production. Associate producer, Peter Arnell. Directed by Herbert Hirschman. Technical director, John Broderick. Miss Alexander's gown, specially created for her by Miss Yaga. This is Lee Vine, speaking for T.A. Swanson and Son, reminding you to tune in each and every week at the same time. For the name, the same.